Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and we've got the black canvas up. And what I've done, secretly, is put a little bit of phthalo blue and then a bit of sap green mixed in with phthalo blue down below. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Easy. So that's why I'm, I'm sweating because the hardest bit of this painting is putting that on. Now, uh, some people, you might want to use a medium to make it easier to put on, like a liquid clear. And it's up to you. It's all up to you. Better show you what I've got on the palette, actually. I've got some uh, titanium white, which I'm just pulling out here, tapping into my two-inch brush. I've got some uh, vermilion red, some cadmium yellow, some phthalo blue, sap green, Van Dyke Brown and Dark Sienna. So it's quite a small palette of colours. Well, the palette's not small, but the amount of colours we're using is small. <laughs> so I'm just tapping my bristles to get an even distribution of colour. And what I'm thinking, this is my idea. And I'll be honest with you, I've never painted this painting before. So it's, we'll see what happens. So I want like a misty, Kind of sky. Just start there and work out. I just want to get that misty feeling. A misty kind of. Well, that's looking nice. <laughs> Maybe we'll finish there. That's a misty looking sky. Just get the. Because when I went to the sea, seaside and uh, I went with my paints and I sat there in Scarborough, it was. In Scarborough. I was sat there and it was all misty. Just mist, 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 mist. And that's all. <laughs> it was quite good. Well, I liked it. So. That's what I'm thinking in this painting. A bit nice and misty. Now these canvases are uh, ones I've made. I stretched them myself, so they're not stretched to the best. <laughs> but you know, we do what we want. And if we can reuse a canvas by ripping the canvas off and putting a fresh one on. <laughs> Then we will do. <laughs> so I'm just giving my brush a little shake in this tape towel. Gets rid of the most of the excess paint. And then we can go back and uh, we can mist this up a bit more. Got a bit of a hair there. Oh, comes free with the painting. <laughs> so we'll use some of these dark areas so we don't mind. painting quite dark anyway. The sky anyway. We just want like a bright area and then just sort of let it, let it sort of span outwards. It's quite like that so far. Now what I might do what I'm thinking is what if we had some land back there. Thinking on the fly here. <laughs> Should we brighten this up a bit more? Hmm. 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 Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should. I'll just tap it like this. So then you get the paint on one end on one end, so then I can just go. Just brightens that on one end up a bit. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. 
Yeah, I think if I go back into this blue colour and I uh, a little bit of a lamb there. And that's quite distant still, it's not powering forward hours. <laughs> Which is a good thing. We want to keep things far away. Far away. Got the fan brush, getting some white. Right. Let's think about the wave. We're going to put in, maybe we we'll want a wave here. What do we do? Um, yeah, let's have the wave go in. Zip. Zip and then over like there, and then uh, can crash that over, something like that. Something like that, anyway. Crash that one over, then we can have another wave behind it, something like there, and then we can have we can have all kinds of things going on. But th this is our this is the beginning of it. So we'll have a few, a few waves here. We'll just use rocking motions. Just using rocking motions to start creating our background water. Leave some of those dark bits. We don't want to kill all those darks. We want to give the illusion of a lot of waves back there. So we keep some of the dark. Okay. So we just stand back, have a look, or sit back, have a look. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the moment. I'm standing. So I'll be standing back, having a look. Have it pretty quiet over here and over here. This is where the light is here. So it's, we've got some light and, and a bit of light maybe in the eye of the wave, which we can, we'll do. Get some white, a little bit of the yellow. Put some of this in there. This is a this is closer to us here, so you can see a little bit more colour. But further back there, we don't see much colour. So there we go. I'm getting ahead of myself, really. I should really uh, stop pulling that back. <laughs> Get excited, you see, and start enjoying yourself, and you're like, ooh. Now I'll, do it. Now, I'll, now I'll do that bit, now I'll do that bit. Can't wait, I'll do it, that bit next. So I'm going to pull some of this paint back here for this wave. Rock that back. Rock it back. Shape. It's still you know, it's not quite quiet. Maybe we'll have a rock here. So I find when you're at the coast, you always think all the waves are going to come in one by one and there'll be like a pattern. And sometimes, when I, well, when I was sat there watching, it kept changing. And I was thinking it was going to be the same each time. <laughs> The splash was bigger, or sometimes the splash was smaller. 
because that's where I like this bit. Let's just get a bit more light there. Yeah, so we want this uh, this wave. It wants to come over. Maybe just <laughs> knocking off some of the paint. Um, just spin this around here, just to uh, blend this a bit. Spin it around and then take it out. Maybe pour this a bit. Some of the dark. If there's this blue, I put a bit of sap green in it. Blue and green. Maybe a touch of uh, red. Touch more of the red. Just to make it dark. Bluey, greeny, red. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll. Uh, It's a good idea to do the uh, sound effects because that, the sound effects really makes the painting better. <laughs> it makes it more fun. Always keep standing back and looking. I've noticed that's got a bit too bright over here because it's hitting that line of the wood. <laughs> I don't like that. But you can use a little bit of dull, a darker paint to dull things. You can do that. There's always things you can do. Alright, what else can we do? Speaking of what we can do, we need to highlight the splashing. I'm going to use some titanium white. I'm mixing it with a bit of this blue. I don't want it to be uh, pure titanium white. You don't want it to be just white. You want it to be blue as well. Because if you use just white, then you're using your lightest light. And I always want to save that. I saved it. If you ever uh, end up doing a demonstration <laughs> and you're going, <laughs> kind of look at you funny, but you know it makes it makes it work. Just gives that a little bit of a bit of wind splashing. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Fresh, nice fresh white. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to blend some of it together. Now you can use a big brush to do it, or a small brush.
use the top so you can see it and you just blend these two together just stir it around mark off the excess paint just stir it up again You can use some of this. If you tap into it, you can use it as little splashes. Splashes. Okay. Okay. Now she's now into there. And we want to uh, stop bringing this together. Give it a little bit more light here. Just use some of that paint. Let's give it a stand back, have a look. See if there's anything you think. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that should go around there. You, you do yours how you want to do it, remember. Remember, remember to enjoy yourself. Always remember to enjoy yourself, because it's good fun. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this area. Let's bring, maybe there's a wave. Something like there. I can sort of bring that down. See, it's curling the most there. there. You can use your finger to soften areas if you want to soften an area. Okay, not too much around this area. It gets a bit flatter. Still curls around there. And what's on here? Maybe this is where the, uh, the beach is. Could be. So that light there. I use the big brush and just pull that down. So I'm trying to be quite subtle, <laughs> as subtle as I can be anyway. Now, using the uh, small knife, just cut across, you get a little, little tiny roll of paint. I'm going to uh, press down quite hard. Some of this. Let's go in where the waters coming up to shore.
you want more blue in it over here. Because you, you get you got more light in that area. So I'm just gonna put a bit of a rock there. Um so we'll get a little bit of the brown and blue, brown and blue. Because I want to keep the colour harmony of the painting. If I start throwing in too much bright colours, it's going to lose it. It's not going to work. Anyway. <laughs> Let's put this great big rock. There's a face there. <laughs> Blue and brown, blue and brown, blue and brown. Uh, uh. This is a good rock, isn't it? Uh, maybe help. Maybe that'll do. do you need another rock. Would you have a rock here? Do you think? Ah, oh, well, we have now. We might as well. I like that type of rock. <laughs> it's my specialty. Never do that type of rock for some reason. Let's, let's break the habit and do one like this. Too much, just a, just a bit. Yeah. It's a brown and white. Brown, white, and blue. Let's imagine there's a bit of light hitting that part of it. Just need to clean up the, uh, the water in front of this. There's a uh, thing there. And if you find that your paint is not sticking, then uh, you can thin the paint with a little bit of oil or something. Oh, that's a bit 
too white. <laughs> don't want, we don't want our eye to be on this, do we? use the old liner just make sure it's not a brick <laughs> we have to check it first so we want this mixed in with uh, some of the, the blue again some of the blue and I'm going to pick out some areas that I want so I've got the light in sort of like this maybe here Put it here, maybe. separates that as well. I can separate this. quite like that. I don't want to do too much because then I'll start ruining it but maybe I can put a few of these little too bright there. Okay, so just stand back, have a look. Are you okay with the painting? Do you want to do one more thing? Yes, I do. I want to give it a little bit of light. A little bit more light. Using my finger. I think I'll call that one finished. I'll just give it a little bit of a, uh, a signature somewhere. I think I'll sign it down here. a little bit of pinky, pinky red. I 
little JB. <laughs> oh, my little bird in there. <laughs> Don't you find that when you're doing your painting? You're like, oh, I just wanna, just wanna add a little, couple of little birds going, that catching the moonlight. Yeah, there we go. So thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it got you inspired to do a painting of your own. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>